Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I have got a super OP, super simple with a killer. This thing does not only take advantage over a really cheaty setting, but it makes things so easy. You could kill pretty much 10 withers in this thing at the same time. Like I said, this thing does take advantage of a setting that is in the game it is not a cheat we have full access to this setting and that is of course the difficulty setting without the use of this it would be a lot difficulter is that a word i don't know we'll roll with it to kill the wither however by simply changing your game to easy mode you can make things a lot easier as you can see behind me we kind of have an ugly obsidian box but this ugly obsidian box as said before will quite literally kill as many withers as you want at the same time and to top it off your nether stars that get completely collected on their own so you're never gonna lose one of these nether stars this thing is fully fully afk like you don't even have to collect the thing at the end that being said let me show you the materials you're gonna need so the first thing you are gonna need is to find a suitable location i will note that the explosions do sometimes exit the farm meaning any mobs surrounding this farm could get hit by the explosions so i would definitely keep it out of the way of mob farms although if you are looking for wither roses i mean you could actually just go ahead and put some mobs around it anyway and the items you are gonna need are as followed simply bring yourself two buckets of water two hoppers two chests as many withers as you want to kill at the same time again you will be able to kill as many withers at the same time as you like you're gonna need at least three stacks of obsidian maybe a little bit less but three stacks should be more than enough bring yourself five ladders that this is going to give you access to your spawn chamber and one of the most important things for this farm is a sunflower this is going to allow us to find the right direction in which we need to build the farm of course you're going to need a piece of dirt to place the sunflower on and that is literally everything you're gonna need so the first step would be to place down your sunflower and now we know that that is east so obviously north east south and west and we're gonna use this flower as a building guideline simply place three pieces of obsidian in front of it like so and then what we're gonna do is actually work out where we're gonna be spawning this thing and we're gonna be spawning the wither in line with the flower so place down another three just here like so and then place down four pieces of soul sand this is just going to give you a good indication of where to build around we want to make sure that this soul sand is completely enclosed apart from underneath the arms and what this does by completely enclosing this soul sand is basically it makes the wither move into our kill chamber and that is why it's very important that we get the direction perfect on this farm so as you make your way up you can add your ladders i would add them on this corner though and then of course finish off by adding your final piece of obsidian i say final but you are going to need i think two more pieces so one more here and one more here Oh, tell a lie, you're going to need three more pieces. Well, rows, should I say, not pieces. So, you'll know if you've gone up high enough because you should have five ladders. And, of course, it goes up five blocks at this point you should have something that looks a little bit like this you're gonna have room to place down your soul sand to spawn your wither you're gonna need a one gap above that and then simply place a piece of obsidian there and a piece of obsidian there leave the middle one open for your access to obviously spawn the wither no. so come to the front of your farm the front is going to be the ladder side and then simply go three more blocks in this direction so that's one two and of course three and from this corner block we're going to want to go one and of course two more from there so it should look a little bit like this and if you hadn't guessed what we're going to do already is simply solidly fill all of this up with obsidian all the way up to this bit now you don't want to go shy on any of this obsidian believe me this is going to make it so you can trap multiple withers and kill them at the same time and there we go you should have like a solid piece of obsidian right about now there is one more thing or at least two more things that we need to do simply count how many we have here we should have about five so that's one two three 
four, and five. Now, to make our water system to collect our wither stars, we're going to need to make it go eight. So, we're going to need to add an additional three. So, that's one two and three so our water is going to be sitting here on top of these two blocks right now what i'm going to do is grab my pickaxe line myself up with these blocks and remove all the pieces of obsidian until i can see through to the other side and i'm going to do the same with the piece of obsidian next to it all the way through till i can see the other side at this point let's go ahead and place four more pieces of obsidian there Let's fully connect this up so there is going to be no spillage because, of course, we do not like spillage on this channel. And by the looks of things, we're actually going to need over three stacks. So I did say you're going to need about three stacks. Bring yourself about three and a half stacks. That should do you all the good. And what you can actually do right now is place both buckets of water. And what that will do is push everything down here. This means that our wither stars or nether stars should i call them are actually going to get fully pushed all the way down here into what will be our hoppers and chest now of course we're going to have to remove that one and that one place down our double chest like so and finally place down our hoppers and that my friends is farm complete of course to get this thing to actually work we're gonna have to change the difficulty to easy normally i would play in hard mode but for this specific farm, I'm going to use this setting and change it to easy. Now, some people would consider this to be cheating. Although, I mean, this setting is quite literally not in the cheat setting. It's literally a setting we can use freely and openly. Again, some may consider this as cheating. But, I mean, it's a really nice and simple method. And that's exactly what we like on this channel. Simple. So... Let's go ahead and trap some withers. I can simply go up here and place down my first three schools. I would need to run off because of the first initial explosion. Although I'm just going to try and place my second one before um, I die. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to die. I shouldn't. I mean, it is on easy mode. So they're not that hard. But like I said, we shouldn't have to do anything. So let's just get on with it. Place one there one there and of course one there boom that's gonna go in there let's get this second one up and running right now and hopefully we don't take too much damage if not any one two and three oh no that was super glitchy <laughs> oh damn boom and then there we go we have two in there and all we literally have to do is wait as you can see the water will constantly like break but still like fix itself in the end and all we've got to do is wait for the wither to die as you just saw there i did take a little bit of damage so you might want to stay a little further away of course if you come a little bit further away like here you can't even hear the sound which is pretty nice it's like literally silent i heard that but you don't hear none of that which is like a proper racket so i'm gonna stand over here and um yeah wait for those to die and i'll be back in a minute as you can see, we are approaching our first with a death, and there is normally a huge explosion at the end. You will see from this farm that even that explosion does not push another wither out the other wither is still taking damage and i don't know if you've seen that but our star has just been collected now we can wait for our second star and there we go just about to go in the hopper boom we can now make two more beacons to add to my collection and it was as simple as that and again it was all in a day's work how good was that so that is all i've got time for today i will catch you on the next one